Camera two. Tip James and Sun House. June 21, 1964. Sunday, Father's Day, Goodman, Schwerner, and Cheney were let out of jail. Then their car was pulled over by racist Klansmen and they were murdered on that day. On the same day, now so well remembered for the murders of three civil rights workers, two other groups of visitors to Mississippi made contact with two of the greatest early blues legends to be rediscovered. Freedom riders were people who had come down to the South to help black people register to vote. We were aware of Freedom Riders, and the press was full of it. And we would read it and idyllically say, doesn't concern us, we're just here for the music. Skip James was living in Tunica, uh, pretty disillusioned with music and probably not ever anticipating to be a musician again professionally. John Fahey, Henry Vestine, and Bill Barth made a trip to Bentonia and met a woman who's an aunt of Skip James who sent them to the area in the Delta where he was. He had done some sides for Paramount in 31. Then there was a 33-year void, a complete absence of knowledge. So they brought him to Newport, and it was just tense. What is he going to sound like? And he sat down, and he touched the end of the strings, and he brought his head up, and he opened his mouth. You know that I a bit of trouble. It was his moment. How good can he be? How much magic can he have? You know I could be right. You know I could be right. Then I get a It was electric. He just left you breathless. He was so great. But it was nothing that don't get He don't got my baby and he don't go. People like the blues now better than they did a long time ago because they understand it better now. Are you the sun house that recorded for Paramount? Are you the sun house that knew Robert Johnson and Charlie Patton? And he said, say, who is this anyway? You're uncovering history. I mean, can you imagine the thrill of that? To, to actually find somebody that could play it. I didn't have a soul The search for and the discovery of older musicians is connected to the Freedom Rides. Young whites trying to connect with black culture saw there a kind of arc or covenant of music and of love that was truly profound. <laughs> 